Okay, friends, get ready. We are going to talk about the best spring trends for your pair body type. And you may be asking yourself, okay, great, but why do we need to talk about trends and my body type at the same time? The reason being is that each body type has its own formula for how it achieves balance, which is a really fancy way of saying, this is how you can dress to look your best. And we all wanna look our best, right? But in addition to looking our best, we also want to make sure that our wardrobes stay current. So in this episode of the Adore Your Wardrobe Show, I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite spring trends that are the best for your pair body type. They can actually help you achieve balance. And we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. We're gonna talk about specifics like what to look for in styles, fit, and details. Plus, I'm going to have links to all the items that I'm showcasing at the very end. All right, let's get to it. Let's start talking about the trends. Everybody, it's Kelly Snyder from Adore Your Wardrobe, and if this is the first episode you have ever seen, I want to say welcome. I am so glad that you are here. I run an online fashion education program called Adore Your Wardrobe, and I've been doing it for the last eight years, and that means I've seen eight, yes, eight spring season trends come and go over those years. And in that time of doing Adore Your Wardrobe, I have helped thousands of women demystify fashion through body symmetry formulas, which are based in math and science. In a nutshell, I help you understand the formula for putting together a great outfit for your body type that includes styles, cuts of clothes, colors, and accessories. And one of the things that I teach inside of my program is this concept of a fashion three-legged stool. And what we say is, is that in order to have a really amazing outfit, it needs to have three things. The first is that you need to have clothes that work with your body, not against it, also known that clothes that help you achieve balance for your body type. Number two is that you wanna make sure the clothes fit your body well, and number three is that it is in your style. And in today's episode, I get the honor of helping you do all three of those things at the same time as we dive into my favorite spring and kind of summer trends for 2024 for your pair body type. Now, before I go any further, if you haven't watched my past video, it's right over there, which is how to dress a pear-shaped body type, I really would encourage you to do it now. In that video, I break down how a pear body type achieves horizontal balance based upon the standard of women's fashion, which is the hourglass. Since most women don't have an hourglass naturally, like, you know, we weren't born with it, we kind of have to figure out how to trick the eye into seeing that hourglass where there isn't one. And we do that through how we dress. And I refer to this trickery, yeah, it's trickery, as a body type's illusion of balance goal. And for a pair, you are blessed with an hourglass that is full on bottom with a defined midpoint. You need help filling the upper part of your hourglass in order to look balanced. Let's get started with the trends that I think are the easiest for you to achieve your illusion of balance goal with. And the very first one is hyper feminine. Okay, so hyper feminine is actually a new trend for 2024. And it got its start through social media, which I find fascinating. Usually we see trends kind of trickle down from fashion weeks. They usually start in Paris or London or New York and then kind of trickle down to the masses. But this particular trend actually started in social media and bubbled its way up to becoming a trend. And how did that trend bubble up? Well, it was actually after the release of the Barbie movie. It's almost kind of like a sister to the everything pink that we saw over the last 18 months, but hyper feminine is just a little bit different. Hyper feminine is the pastels and the bows and the lace details and the uber feminine silhouette. Think of it as embracing feminine with a little bit of girl power. So in general, all body types can wear hyper feminine, but they just need to be aware of the details and the placement so that they're picking pieces that help them to achieve their illusion of balance goals. And the other thing about hyper feminine 
is that it can skew a little bit younger. So if you are of a certain age, I'm 50, I get it. We just need to be aware of that and to make sure that we're picking pieces that work with our intrinsic style as well as kind of lean into that trend of hyperfeminine. Okay, the piece that I picked for hyperfeminine for a pair is this gorgeous short sleeved sweater from CC. So this works for a pair because of the lace details at the sleeve. You guys can see both of those. And then also it has kind of this really great contrasting collar as well. So the lace kind of gives that nod to the hyper feminine. And then again, you have the contrasting details in the lapel and then also with the buttons. And so both of these or all two of these or all three of these, I guess you want to say, details really help you to fill the upper part of your hourglass. The other thing that I love about this particular top or you call it a sweater is that it's going to do a great job of transitioning past spring into summer as well. So again, this is gonna be a great top that you can wear with a pair of shorts, you could wear with a skirt, you could wear with colored pants. It really allows itself to be worn in many different ways, but again, because of the details up here at the top, it really does allow you to fill that upper part of your hourglass where kind of wearing any kind of bottom that you want to. Okay, the second trend that I wanna talk about is polished preppy. So the preppy trend actually started in the fall of 2023, but it is back again for spring 2024. And again, like hyperfeminine, this particular trend does work for all body types. But in my opinion, it is especially easy for a pair to wear because of the oversized collars that we see with kind of that preppy look and the stripes that tend to be, you know, just naturally part of that preppy kind of look. So an oversized collar is actually going to provide you some visual interest. And then the stripes, especially horizontal ones, are going to help fill the upper part of the hourglass. And I always say when we can pick pieces to bring into our wardrobe that work so well with our body type, I like to say that it's doing the heavy lifting of achieving your illusion of balance goal. And that's great because when you pick pieces that actually work really well with your body type, that do the heavy lifting of helping you to achieve your illusion of balance goal, it allows you a lot more freedom with your accessories, with your shoes, with other details of your outfit because you just get to let that particular item do all of the heavy work and then you get to have fun with everything else. Okay, I get that stripes are stripes are stripes, but I kind of want to talk a little bit about some specific detailing with stripes as you're looking at adding new pieces into your wardrobe. So this is a great striped top from Ferity. The reason I love it is because it's not your traditional boat neck crew neck t-shirt. It has a really nice elongated scoop, which is really gonna open up the neckline. A scoop neck is a universally flattering neckline for all different body types and all different size of chests. And then we have this great kind of, like it's almost not quite a three quarter sleeve, but it's a little bit longer where it's almost, you know, going to hit you a little bit lower on the arm. So if you want just a little bit more coverage, this is great as well. And then I love the fact that the stripes are uniform. Sometimes we see striped shirts where we have bigger bolder stripes with thinner whites or thinner whites with, you know, or the opposite. This is going to be uniform all the way through. So again, it's just a really great shirt. And when the eye looks at it, it looks at it as one particular pattern instead of necessarily picking out individual colors. So again, great option of looking for stripes that are going to work best for your body type and then also fit you well too. Okay, trend number three is black and white. Okay, black and white is classic, it is bold, and it is high contrast. And this is really a new trend for 2024. And I am super excited for it because I think it is so easy to wear. My guess is, is that it's going to be huge this spring, but we're going to see it be huge going into summer and probably into fall as well. Okay, the great thing about black and white is that it is bold. And because it is bold, it allows you to wear bold accessories with it. So you are able to wear colored accessories, you're able to wear metal accessories. If you want to wear big statement pieces, it goes really well with this black and white trend. So again, if you're somebody that kind of enjoys leaning into having some more statement pieces and some more bigger, bolder pieces of jewelry, black and white is a great way to go. Okay, the top that I picked out that I think is gonna be great for pairs with black and white is this wonderful top from Target. So this is from A New Day, which is one of the brands that Target carries, and it is a great black and white 
floral print. I think this is gonna look amazing with jeans or a colored crop pant, skorts or shorts. And I think there's some details on it too that make it even more amazing for a pair. So the first one is, is we have this slight puff sleeve. Now I know puff sleeves have been big for a while. They've been trending for a while. Sometimes puff sleeves though can make you feel like a linebacker. This one just has a really nice gentle puff to it. So don't feel like you have to, you're gonna feel like a linebacker when you put it on. It's just gonna really flow really nicely over your shoulder. The other thing I love about this is that it has this really great V neckline very similar to the scoop neckline that I showed earlier with the stripes. A V-neckline is universally flattering. It really opens up that neckline. Also allows you to put some really bold pieces of jewelry with it as well. So again, all of those things together, the slight puff, we've got the V-neck, we can wear the big bold jewelry, and again, just the cut and color of the top make it really easy to fill up the upper part of your hourglass. And I wanna give you a pro tip about black and white. So remember that black and white is the trend, not necessarily that specific top, but the combination of black and white. So if you don't like this top, but wanna look for other tops, that's great. You can look for you know different styles of tops and different fabrics and different combinations. But again, look for that black and white combination because that's the piece that is the trend. Okay, in the beginning of this video, I talked about that the perfect outfit is three equal parts. It's clothes that work with your body, not against it. It's also known as clothes that help you achieve balance for your body type that fit you, that fit your individual body and are in your style. And after doing this for eight years, I know it can be really tricky to know the difference between trends and style. And it's easy to get confused, right? You know, we are inundated with images twice a year, usually in spring and fall. Sometimes we get those shoulder seasons too when we get them in summer and we get them in winter too. But we are inundated with a ton of images. We get catalogs from stores. We see influencers on Instagram. We have stores that you know have mannequins with different outfits and different combinations on. It's just a lot. It's easy to feel that you have to be trendy in order to have style, and that's not necessarily the case. Trends and style are two very different things. In general, trends are specific styles that become more or less popular during a specific period of time. Now sure, every now and again, we see something completely new that was completely off the radar that shows up again and hits the fashion world. But for the most part, trends are just older styles that are reimagined. Stripe tops is a great example of that, right? Stripe tops have been around forever. It's just a matter of how they're being reimagined this particular go around that makes them a little bit more different than say the stripes of say six years ago. But trends are different than style because style is intrinsic to the wearer. So something can be trendy and not your style. And so it's kind of up to you to decide which trends you wanna add into your wardrobe to keep it current. You know what, sometimes trends show up and they hit directly on your style, right? If you have a style that really leans into preppy, this is a great time for you. And because of that, you should actually stock up on those preppy trends because the stores have more inventory than they normally do. Now, if preppy isn't your thing, it's okay to let it go. Like I mentioned before, I've been doing this for eight years and I've seen eight spring seasons come and go. And the thing that I've learned about fashion is if you don't love necessarily all of the trends you're seeing, all you have to do is wait a few months and there'll be a whole new group for you to go through and decide if maybe those are the ones that hit on your style. Now, what I don't want you to hear me say is that you don't have to add any trends into your wardrobe. That's not what I'm saying at all. Do not ignore trends altogether because adding in trending pieces actually helps to keep your wardrobe current. And a current wardrobe actually helps you not to feel frumpy. It allows you to be able to put together new outfits and more creative outfits. And it's kind of one of the fun parts of fashion. So if you're wondering like, well, which trends do I bring in and which trends do I not bring in? How do I figure this out? My advice for you is to make sure that you're adding trends strategically. I always tell my students you wanna look for three things when you add in any new trend into your wardrobe. 
Number one, that you love it and that it fits your style. Number two, that it works with your body type because why would we want to add clothes that don't make us look the best? And number three is that it works with your lifestyle. Now, style I already talked about, that totally makes sense. Body type I've talked about, right? Like why would we want to bring in clothes that don't work with our body type? But the lifestyle piece is something that I think we can get caught up into and end up adding clothes into our wardrobe that we won't necessarily wear. You know, sometimes it's really easy to look on Instagram or to look on Facebook or, you know, just even commercials. And we can have this emotional response to essentially what we're seeing and think, wow, you know, she's sitting in a Parisian cafe in her sheath dress or She's going out with her significant other. Look how amazing she looks in that leather. And so we can be like, oh, well, I want to have that too. And we buy those things. But those particular items may not necessarily fit our lifestyle. I think being aware of how you live your life, how you dress, what things you do on a regular basis allows you to make empowered decisions so you're not bringing in something into your wardrobe that's going to necessarily just sit there because you don't have an occasion to wear it. Now, with all of that being said, I really do want to encourage you to try new trends, especially if they're ones that work for your individual body type. I've seen so many women that have tried new things either in store or online and sometimes just trying that new thing, they find out that it becomes one of their all-time favorites. So again, don't be afraid to try new stuff. It's the great thing about shopping either in store. If you don't like it, you can put it back on the rack or if you order it online, you can always return it. But again, having the attitude of I'm not adding in any trends is going to make your wardrobe feel pretty stale over the long haul. Now, I've tried to make it as easy as possible for you. If you click the link below in the comments, I'm going to send you our 2024 Spring Trends by Body Type Buying Guide. Inside of the guide, you'll find links to all of the items that I showed today, plus substitutions, as well as outfit inspiration and additional trends that you can wear for your pair body type. The best part, it's free. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I know trends can be hard to navigate, but I really do wanna reiterate that they are one of the fun parts of fashion. And having this discussion about when you should bring in trends and when you shouldn't, I think is important because the more that we can become empowered before we shop, the better decisions we're going to make in stores, the better decisions that we make in store, the better pieces of clothing we have in our wardrobe, the better pieces that we have in our wardrobe, the easier it is to make outfits that look great on us. The more that we feel great in our outfits, the more that our confidence tends to increase and the more confident we become, the ability we have to influence our circle that is around us increases. So again, it's all about having some of that education, that knowledge, that empowerment to make those small changes at the beginning, which as you can see, ripple all the way through to have some really big changes at the end. I always tell everybody, as long as you understand your body type and the best way of dressing it, you are guaranteed to have a wardrobe you adore. All right, friends, have an amazing rest of your day. God bless, take care, and I will see you next time with more fashion tips and ways to dress your body type. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. See you soon.